So Harriet Jones became the original carrier when Edgar gave her vampire blood. I must tell Elizabeth. Sean bienvenidos a otro capítulo más de Bumpy Estamos frente a la casa de Lady Ashbury A ver qué nos va a presentar el día de hoy Y a ver cómo se van a armar los de madre Porque la sangre de Lady Ashbury Por aquí va hasta el pedo Vale gente, ya estamos aquí en el En el, ¿cómo se llama? En la casa de Lady Ashbury Y a ver qué nos tiene que decir Sean bienvenidos mi amigo Paruno y vámonos a darle What good fortune brings you back to me, Jonathan? What is it, my dear? I'm afraid it's bad news, Elizabeth. The worst, actually. Please, speak up. Edgar is no longer in McCullum's grasp. I resolved that matter. Where is our good friend now? Is he well? Of a sort. His injuries were mortal. I had no choice but to make him one of us. To save him. Or to punish him. To punish him? I fail to understand. And what is the source of this cold tone in your voice? Edgar Swansea was responsible for the Skull epidemic, Elizabeth. It was he who unleashed the deadly scourge upon London. What? Are you certain? This is the most terrible accusation of all. He confessed everything to me. He sought to cure the disease. To exploit vampire blood to stop the epidemic. But he unwittingly gave birth to a catastrophe. All those poor victims. How could he do it? What happened? La verdad que era estúpido, pero no, no un criminal, porque no es un criminal. No era estúpido, es la marca. Edgar's behavior was beyond lunacy. He had neither the discipline, knowledge, nor the proper facilities to conduct blood experiments. I must say, I'm shocked, Jonathan. Who would have thought it? And the poor patient. Let me guess. It was Harriet Jones, was it not? Yes. That explains how Doris Fletcher was infected. And how she became an icor. She secretly visited her mother at Pembroke. Then we have no choice. We must act quickly, Jonathan. We must return to the sewers and put an end to the threat poor Harriet embodies. I have one more matter to discuss with you. Harriet Jones was the primary case, but do you know what a healthy carrier is? There is a tone in your voice that frightens me, Jonathan. What are you trying to say? It was your blood Edgar used for his experiment on Harriet Jones. What? No. No. This can't be. Oh. Elizabeth, are you all right? Uh, no, I have to go. What do you mean? Leave me alone. Save the city, Jonathan. Save what can be saved. Elizabeth, I need answers. Why did your blood Stay cause Stay away this? from me. Please. I swear I never was your Wait. enemy. Wait. No. Elizabeth. Vale, gente. Tenemos en el mapa tres puntos. Uno, dos... Y tres, ¿vale? Este debe ser Swansea, sí. Tenemos tres. Y eh, en el cementerio, what the fuck. Y uh, vamos a ir lo más rápido posible. Vamos a ir primero al más cercano, que debería ser este de aquí. Y de ahí vamos a este y por último al de McCollin, creo, creo que es el último. Así que bueno, nos vemos allá, chicos. 
Now would be a good time to blend the recipe Marshall used when he fought the disaster. I think I know where to find what I need. I'm still persona non grata in the Ascalon Club. If I want to speak with Lord Redgrave, I'll have to improvise. Ven acá. acá que te muerdo vamos muérete oh dios Good evening, Lord Redgrave. What are you doing here, traitor? I shall smite you for this audacity. I'm not here to bicker, Lord Redgrave. I can put an end to this epidemic, but I need your assistance to do so. Good. We've held out thus far, but the time has come to put an end to this crisis. Tell me, what do you need? The blood of William Marshall. The blood of William Marshall? Of my maker? Are you mad? This blood is the purest of all. My maker proffered it to me on the battlefield. I cannot hand it to you. This is more important than the club you or me. This is London's last hope. I see. Well, in that case, given the gravity of the situation, I suppose I can spare you a drop. Thank you, my lord. If you manage to save this city, you'll prove yourself a veritable servant of the crown. So Godspeed, Dr. Reed. Our fate lies wholly in your hands. Hmm. I cannot use garlic, but there may be a substitute in the Pembroke Hospital drug storage.
Not a safe place right now, sir. Best be moving on. It's not human. <laughs> There it is. Insulin. Much more efficient than garlic against blood poisoning and sepsis, and much less dangerous for me. Thank you, Dr. Polescu.
Vale gente, ya estamos en el cementerio, así que vámonos a darle, a ver a dónde tenemos que ir. Vámonos. Esto debe estar lleno de... Sí, me imaginé, debe estar lleno de bichos raros y pendejadas y medio. Cero y dos escaldes, nivel 34. Casi me muero. Tocar a esa vieja significa estar muerto. Vale. Creo que son todos. Si McCallum realmente está buscando el blood de King Arthur, entonces podría haber encontrado otro vital ingrediente de mi recipe. Vale, Maculen debe estar por acá. Aunque supongo que Maculen va a ser más difícil de lo que parece. En lugares grandes espaciosos para una pelea. Así que ¿dónde está Maculen? Aquí está Maculen. Pensé que iba a ser más difícil. Good evening, Vampire Hunter. Are you here to end me, Leech? You'll find I will not be killed easily. Not at all, McCullum. I am here because I need you. Really? I'm intrigued. Speak up, then. I need the blood of a king. The blood of Arthur. I'm certain you possess it, and I must have it. The guard's most sacred and precious relic. Why would you... Ah. Uh, you found Marshall's memoirs. I should have destroyed that book. I need the antidote to save this city, McCollum. It is within me to take your words as truth. I want to, 
but I must know more. What precisely are your plans? I have found the carrier, McCullough. The infection source. It may be science, or some supernatural power that's responsible for all this. But I will harness either or both to end the epidemic. A vampire doctor. My god, you're a terrifying creature. Jonathan Emmett Reed. Do you not understand? We wanted the same thing from the outset. A means to end this vampire epidemic. Not enemies. Maybe that is so. Take it then. I see no other hope for this city. If this is some trick, you will be damned, Dr. Reed. Thank you. Can we speak more? Indeed. Why not? Why are you here? The man who raised me after the brutal murder of my parents. He's buried here. Were both your parents killed by vampires? Yes. And yet worse. My father returned to Dublin a vampire. And tore out my mother's throat. And who was this man? Carl Eldritch. One time leader of Prewin. He killed my father in front of me. Helped me hunt my brother Ain after teaching me how to kill leeches. What will the guard of Prewin do now? Will you stop the great hunt? Yes. But we shall continue to protect innocents from beasts like you and your red headed friend. Like me? I am indebted to you for sparing me at Pembroke. But this won't always be the case. I'm no coward like those St. Paul's Stowe brothers. How long have you known Lady Ashbury? Where is she? And what will you do to her? We saw you meeting her, so of course we investigated. She is gone. Our scouts reported she has sold some paintings and departed for an unknown destination. Adieu, vampire hunter. Until we meet again, blood drinker. Bang! Ah, no! No, 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 no! No,